What a wedding season this is proving to be. I'm amazed at the number of people getting married. Just where do they all come from? Of course, I'm not complaining. I love weddings and I love the business. But really, where do all these brides come from? How can there be so many people getting married? This year, I find many of my brides are requesting garlands in their decorating plans. They want garlands on the church railing, garlands on the staircase, garlands around a structural column, maybe garlands along the picket fence. In short, they want garlands everywhere. Thank goodness for leather fern. That makes it easy. I can create my own or I can buy it. Of course, ordering it pre-made, that's the very easiest. I just call up my friends at the FLGA, the Florida Leather Fern Growers Alliance, and I say, hey, I need this. They create it, pack it, and ship it to me, ready to go. Other times I like to make it myself, and that's really not too difficult. All you need is paddle wire and a bit of rope, and you can create your own lovely garlands. I use a 22 gauge paddle wire and then the rope. I just have a tiny piece for this demonstration, but it should be as long as you want your garland to end up. Then a base of leather fern is perfect. And I always like to enhance it with a couple other types of foliage, something kind of fluffy and airy from the asparagus family. This time I'm using spring rye and then a ruscus for the broad leaf, the three together, just beautiful. I start by attaching the paddle wire directly to the rope, then gather the materials into your hand, putting them all the way around the rope so that you get it fully dimensional, all sided. Maybe let the spring rye trail outward, very luxurious, a little bit of the ruscus, and then wrap it, bind it together, then repeat that. Set the paddle wire down, grab your fern, clustering it together. The trick is to make all of your bunches, the little clusters that you put on the rope, about the same size. If they get bigger or smaller, all of a sudden your garland's not consistent in size and it's not nearly as pretty. So I always try to think about that as I'm gathering my materials. Think about the same number of pieces of leather fern, the same size on the spring rye, and the same size on the ruscus, and work your way down. Once you have your garland, whether it be a pre-made purchase garland or one you made yourself, it's easy to enhance it. I use Oasis Foil Adhesive, the cold glue, and I can tuck in roses. Just cut them down. You don't want them very long at all. A couple of inches of stem. Add a tiny bit of glue. And nestle it right into the nest of foliage. It will support the heads. Ends up looking so luxurious with the flowers tucked in. Just kind of stagger them throughout, making sure that your glued stem connects well to the leather fern. That'll give it the support. Then go back with a little bit of wax flower. It's so dainty and feminine. And just break it down into smaller little pieces. And again, put the glue on the stem. And tuck it into place. What a quick and easy way to add color and glamour to your garland. Okay, it's time for me to go hang some garland. Don't you just love it? Whoever knew that leather fern could be so versatile?